Nowadays, especially during this time two years into the pandemic, we've all been trying to find our own way, trying to keep our heads above water. So many people have lost their jobs. We were all forced into corners and had to be innovative and creative when it comes to our ways of earning and money making. People have started working remotely and some even open up their own businesses. Welcome to Cash King's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll teach you tips and tricks to help you make money online. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we upload a new video. Please like this video and leave a comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. If you've seen a few of our videos in the past, you will see that we are advocates of making money online and working remotely. In fact, we work day and night trying to find new ways to earn online just so we can share them with the rest of you. Whether it be in the world of affiliate marketing or even some tips on being a small-time business owner or entrepreneur. You can watch as many of our videos or even take courses on online work and entrepreneurship but if you don't apply all of our tips and tricks and put it all into action then it will go nowhere. After all, almost all our videos talk about methods of making money online that are low risk because they require no financial investment, no hidden fees or charges. It wouldn't hurt to try because there is literally nothing to lose. The best way to learn is always through experience, so we should make the most of the time we have and invest it wisely into activities that actually help us grow as people and add value to our lives in more ways than one. In the world of making money online, one of the most important skills is being able to find traffic. Sources of traffic are essential, especially when you dabble in affiliate marketing and even in small online businesses. Businesses leave off of marketing and advertising. Traffic is needed because traffic brings in sales and obviously brings more attention to your product. It can have the best, most efficient, most effective product. It can even be life-changing, but if you don't market and advertise it well, no one will ever hear about it. No one will ever even know that the product is in existence. Worst case scenario, you have an amazing product but no exposure at all. Someone with the same resources finds it, steals your idea, markets it better, and sells that product. The real problem nowadays with online business owners, affiliate marketers, drop shippers, agencies, and freelancers is they bounce around too much. Sometimes doing everything and being everywhere all at once isn't as effective. We believe that it is much better to focus on one platform, study the statistics there, and evaluate what type of audience and market that platform can offer. It is very important to curate the relationship between your product and the platform you plan to market it on. Marketing your product at the right time and the right place makes all the difference. Focus on one platform until you achieve your desired result and then move on to the next. Each platform has different algorithms and therefore, it will require different strategies as well. If you're selling home decor or anything fashion related, it would be a better idea to use an image heavy platform. Something like Instagram or Pinterest would work best for your product. If you're marketing gadgets or something within the niche of science and tech, Products that require a more in-depth review or study, YouTube or Reddit will probably do the trick. You can post a review blog or even just an honest review of the product's features. Some affiliate marketers and business owners tend to jump from one platform to another. Once they feel like a certain platform doesn't work out for them, or if they feel like they aren't progressing and getting their desired results immediately, they feel the need to move on to another platform. That shouldn't be the case, honestly. Getting traction and generating sales takes time. It isn't some overnight miracle. Patience is so important in this field. You won't get your desired results in a week. Maybe in some cases you will, but most cases not. Trust me, all platforms work because all platforms have users. As long as there's a market, there will be potential. Like we've mentioned earlier, every platform has its own algorithm which means that they require different strategies. Before giving up on a platform, make sure you've tried almost every single approach. Study your product very well and study your platform 
so that you can create a strong relationship between the two. This will help you maximize your efforts. Marketing your products in the right places and at the right moments will make all the difference. Another important thing to study when it comes to platforms is their algorithms. How posts and ads appear on the feeds and timelines. Is the order and arrangement of posts on the feed based on interactions and engagement or based on the time of when a post was uploaded? Instagram actually had an issue when they changed their feed algorithm from chronological order to an order based on interactions and engagement. So basically, the photos we see on our feeds could be from weeks ago but as long as people are still commenting on the photo and liking it, it will keep showing up on the feed. This is how Facebook and Twitter works as well in terms of their timeline and feed orders. Figure out who your target audience is. Are you looking for consumers that are 10 below, 18 and up, or does your product target consumers of all ages? Figuring out your target consumer group will also help you find the perfect platform for your product. For example, most TikTok users belong to the Gen Z group, while Facebook has users of all ages. Even some of our grandmas are on Facebook. For a more specific audience, you can look up Facebook groups and pages. Reddit also offers different threads and forums that talk about a specific topic or belong to specific niches. Now, this is where getting to know your product matters. Knowing your product is actually a given. You need to know what you're selling in order to sell it right, obviously. Know what product your niche belongs to. Does it belong to health and wellness niche? Or is it in science and tech, fashion and beauty, kitchen and home? Find out which category your product belongs in and then look for communities, pages, websites, and forums that belong to the same niche or world. Obviously, knowing who your target audience is basically means finding people who might be interested in your product. And where else should you look when you already have communities and groups with people who are already interested in that specific niche? Marketing your product will be as easy as pie since these people are already interested in a category your product belongs in. Your product doesn't have to be amazing honesty. As long as you market it well, you will generate sales. We will be releasing a video soon about 5 different platforms that will help you drive traffic towards your link for free, so watch out for that too, because that's pretty important. Learn how to market your ads without having to put out money. Next, going back to our target audience. Another tip would be to know your audience beyond surface level. Now, we're no longer talking about age groups and all that basic stuff. We're talking about connections we can make, assume, and derive from the basic information that we already have. We need to know what they might desire. For example, you may find that people interested in weight loss might also be interested in fitness and sportswear. Some people interested in the weight loss niche might also be interested in purchasing swimwear. Based on a study, some people actually buy clothing in smaller sizes, and this actually serves as an inspiration for them and it really helps with their weight loss journey. Is there a different reason for them wanting to lose weight? Are they more sensitive and should your captions be worded in a certain type of way and stuff like that basically? It's things like this and connections like this that we have to consider and think about. Because these connections will be beneficial to us, especially when it comes to selecting different products you'd like to market and products you can actually market together hand in hand. Next, think of how you approach your target audiences. Do you have enough access to them? Usually, it is important to make sure you can find email addresses or phone numbers online. Now, I know when we market products, we want as wide of a reach as we can get. We want our ads or posts to be seen by as many users in as many different countries. At first, we always think about a larger scale but trust me when I say, it's also important to reach out and market your products to individual users. If public posts and ads stop working one day, or if the algorithm goes whack all of a sudden, you will need to be able to market your product at a smaller scale. You need to make sure that you can still reach or get a hold of your target consumers via email, via direct message, and even via phone number if possible. 
sending users a direct message that includes a short intro to the product, your unique link, and some extra info is actually effective, especially if you acknowledge the user in your emails. It just feels more directed, intended, and more personal, and it will make users feel more appreciated. It makes users feel that the product will really cater to them and their needs since you actually reached out. It seems like a lot of work, but as soon as you create your templates and have them ready, all you have to do is copy-paste your message and alter the parts of information that are person-specific. And of course, do not forget to include your unique affiliate link. Every single one of these tips and tricks will help you grow your business much faster. Let us know in the comments down below which tips have actually helped you. And that's it for today's video. If you've learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Cash Kings, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. As always, if you have any concerns or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next video.